Hey awak, awak yang tu lah. Jangan lupa subscribe channel kita. Tanda sokongan. Terima kasih. Hai, Assalamualaikum. Jom kita revise sambil berehat. Sambil berehat pun, kita boleh belajar tahu dengan tengah handphone. Apa tunggu lagi? Jom kita mula. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Jadi untuk video kali ini, kita akan sambung lagi example number 4. Okay, untuk chapter 6 dan tengok kita boleh sambung tak sampai example number 5. Okay, so example number 4. So here we have a 2 kg rock tied to a 2 meter string is in a circular motion in a vertical plane. Okay, so the hint here is vertical plane at a constant speed of 10 meter per second. So find the tension in the string at the top and bottom of its path. Alright, so find the minimum speed for which the rock will continue in circular motion. Okay, so we have vertical plane, okay, object that move in circular motion in vertical plane. So let's say this is the uh, circular path. Alright, so this is at the top of the circle. So this is the center and we're going to have string. Okay, and this is at the bottom. Okay. Uh, so, maknanya dia akan pusing, kadang-kadang dia duduk dekat atas, kadang-kadang dia turun ke bawah. Okay, so at the top and this is at the bottom. Alright, so before we start to find what is the tension in the string at the top, so we need to draw the free body diagram. So, obviously we're going to have tension and also the weight of the mass, okay, the rock. So, W. And then we're going to have the weight of the object, okay, downward. And remember, when the object is at the top of the circular path, so the direction of the centripetal acceleration, lukis kecil saja dekat tepi. So, towards to the center. Okay, so from here you can see that the direction of T and W is the same direction as AC. Okay, so both T and W would be positive value. Okay, so since this is vertical plane, so I will write total Fy, okay, C equal to MAC. Okay, means that the circular motion is in vertical plane, which is Y component. So, we involve all the forces in Y component. So, T and W same direction as AC. So, I will take T as positive value plus W also positive value is equal to mv squared over r. AC ni saya tukar kepada v squared over r since the question give us v here. Okay. v is equal to 10 meter per second. Alright. So from here we can find t where t is equal to so I tulislah dulu kat atas ni top. Okay. At the top. Okay. So t is equal to Ha, tulis balik formula dia. mv squared over r minus mg. Okay. So, we can substitute m is 2 kg. v is given 10 where r is the radius of the circle. So, means that the length is given 2 meter. So, dekat sini kena tahu eh konsep length dia. Length tali adalah 2 meter. Means that L is equal to R which is 2 meter. Okay. So the length is 2 meter. Minus mg. Okay. So this one you can cancel. Okay. And then press your calculator. So T at the top of the circular path will be 80.4 Newton. Okay. So this is the answer for T when the object is at the top of the uh, of the circular path okay so second we want to find what is the tension when the object at the bottom okay so now let's draw the free body diagram okay so t should be outward from the object and obviously weight is downward and then at the bottom and then at the bottom position the centripetal acceleration is upward Sebab center dia duduk kat atas kan. So, AC must be directed towards the center. Okay. So, if you look at here, that the direction of tension, same direction dengan AC. So, dia akan jadi T akan jadi positif. 
W akan jadi negatif. So, kita boleh tulis total centripetal force which is in Y component is equal to MAC. So, here T plus negative W since direction of W opposite direction dengan AC. So, saya letak negatif equal to MV squared over R. Therefore, the tension of the string when the object is at the bottom of the circular path should be equal to mv squared over r plus mg. Okay, so here you can substitute all the values, right? Okay, so r is 2 plus, this time we have plus, okay, 2, 9.81. Okay, so kalau you tengok pada equation kan, Ha, kat sini minus mg dekat sini plus mg so apa yang kita boleh cakap okay, when the object is at the top of the circular path actually the tension is minimum ok T is minimum ok at the top ok ha, dia kecil lah kalau kita kira T when the object is at the bottom of the circular path kita akan dapat nilai dia lebih besar sepatutnya. Okay, cuba tekan calculator, cuba kira. So, you akan dapat 119.6 Newton. Okay, so for your information, when the object is at the bottom of the circular path, okay, the tension, okay, the tension of the string will be maximum. Okay, boleh. Okay, now find the minimum speed for which the rock will continue in circular path. Okay, so we want to find the minimum speed. Okay, minimum speed. So now we want to find the minimum speed. Okay, so remember the minimum speed for the rock to continue in circular path will be occur. So when we consider T is equal to 0. Okay. Uh, so, kita consider, so untuk kita kira minimum speed uh, for which the rock will continue in circular motion sebabnya untuk dia stay in circular motion, uh, dia tidak boleh bergerak terlalu perlahan kan? Kalau kita pusing, kita kena pusing laju kan? Uh, batu tu. So, kalau perlahan, dia tak akan maintain in circular path. So, that's why kita kena tahu what is the minimum speed supaya batu itu boleh stay continue in circular motion. Okay, so in this case, we consider that tension is equal to zero. Uh, tension equal to zero ni seolah-olah macam dah tak ada tegangan pada tali tersebut. Uh, kita nak tahu when T is equal to zero, V dia berapa? So, kita ambil V itulah nilai minimum speed yang sepatutnya objek itu perlu ada untuk dia bergerak. Okay, so when T is equal to zero, we consider equation T is equal to mv squared over r minus mg. Okay, since at the top of the circular path, t is minimum, so we consider this equation. So, kita consider equation ni because at the top of the circular path, logiknya t dia adalah minimum compared to the bottom. Okay, so now consider t is equal to zero, so kita akan dapat mv squared over r minus mg. Therefore, mv squared over r equal to mg. So, we can cancel out mass. Therefore, we can find the minimum speed of the rock so that it will stay in circular motion is equal to square root rg. Okay? So, we can substitute all the values here where r is equal to 2 meter, g is 9.81. Okay, so you akan dapat nilainya adalah 4.43 meter per second. Okay, so 4.43 meter per second ni adalah nilai speed yang paling kecil, yang paling minimum. Okay, kalau boleh pusingkan tali tu lebih besar daripada 4.43 meter per second. So that the rock will continue in circular motion. Okay, sekiranya uh, speed batu itu kurang daripada 4.43 meter per second, okay, uh, batu itu tak akan boleh pun pusing dalam circular motion. Okay, awak boleh cuba kan ambil batu awak ikat dengan tali, awak cuba pusingkan in vertical plane. Adakah kita pusingkan terlalu perlahan? 
tak ada kan? Kita mesti pusingkan dengan laju, dengan speed yang laju. Okay, so in order to find the minimum speed, make sure you consider t is equal to zero. Okay, at the top of the circular path. So we substitute the equation here. Okay, so kita rearrange, kita akan dapatlah nilai V 4.43 meter per second. Okey. Jadi siapa yang pusingkan batu itu in a vertical plane, pastikan the speed of the rock should be bigger than 4.43 meter per second. Alright, so finish example number 4. So let's continue example number 5. Okey, example number 5. So here we have a particle of mass 2 kg is attached to one end of a light in extensible string of length 50 cm. Okey, so given that the other end of the string is attached to a fixed point. Okey, point A. Okey. So, the particle move with constant angular speed in a horizontal circle of radius 40 cm. Okay. So, the center of the circle is vertically uh, below A. Okay. Calculate the tension in the string and the angular speed of the particle. Okay. Uh, so, kalau gambar ni dia bagi gambar lebih senang lah untuk kita buat sebenarnya. Okay. So, let's say this is point A and then we have a string which is 50 cm length. Okay, jadi soalan dia mention the particle move with constant angular speed in a horizontal circle. Okay, dan the center of the circle, the center of the horizontal circle tadi is vertically below A. Ha, so, maknanya kat sini lah. Ha, okay. okay, ni adalah conical pendulum sebenarnya. Okay, ha, center. Okay. So, let's say this is the object and then it will move in horizontal. Okay, horizontal circle. Okay, macam ni lah lebih kurang. Alright. So, given that the length is 50 centimeter, the length of the string 0 0.5 meter and given that the radius R, okay, where R is equal to 0 0.4 centimeter. Okay, angle dia tak bagi tahu. So, sekarang soalan suruh kita kira tension in the string and the angular speed of the particle. So, this question is very interesting. So, let's draw the free body diagram first. So, we're going to have weight downward. Sorry. Okay, weight is downward. Tension. Okay, that's all. Okay, so kita ada weight and tension. So, here, so kita akan ada weight and then tension. Alright, and how about the angle? So, we need to find the angle. So, since we have the length and the radius, okay, 0 0.5 and here we have R is 0 0.4. Actually, we can find theta, the angle, okay, here. So, by using equation sine theta is equal to uh, R over L. So, we can find theta. So, inverse sine R is 0 0.4 and L is 0 0.5. Okay. So, theta you akan dapat 59 degree. Kira eh. Okay. So, look at here. Since here is 59 degree, means that here is also 59 degree. Ha, sini pun boleh 59 degree. So, kalau saya pindahkan dekat angle pada sini, this is 59 degree. Ha, macam itu. Okay. So, now let's resolve. Ty is equal to T cos 59 and Tx is equal to T sin 59. And remember, we draw the small arrow to indicate the direction of the centripetal acceleration towards to the center. Kan, center dia dekat sini tadi. Uh, so, dia macam ni lah, AC. Lukis kecil saja. Okay. So, you can see here that Tx will provide the centripetal force since the direction of Tx and AC are the same direction. Boleh. Okay. 
So we want to find T. So kita boleh masukkan lah. Okay, total FC in X component equal to MAC. So we have TX only is equal to MV squared over R. So in this case, we can expand TX T sine 59 equal to MV squared over R. But we want to find tension, right? But we don't have value of V. V kita tak ada. Yang lain kita ada. Tak ada masalah. Okay. So let this as equation number one. So we want to proceed to the second part which is Y component is equal to zero. Okay. The object is not moving in Y component. Okay. So T Y is upward. We consider positive plus negative W equal to zero. So kita substitute lah. Okay. So sekarang bila kita substitute, kita nampak uh, from Y component. Okay, tadi kita buat X component dekat sini. Okay, by using equation of total FY, we actually can find T. Okay, so T is equal to, kita boleh terus selesaikan. Ha. Okay, so mass is given to kg. So 9.81 over cos 59 degree eh. Make sure your calculator in degree mode. 59 degree is the angle. So T is equal to 32.68 Newton. Boleh eh? So kita dapat jawapan. Untuk T eh, kita dah dapat jawapan. Okay. And then now we want to find the angular speed of the particle. So how to find the angular speed of the particle? So remember the equation V is equal to R omega. So actually from this equation you can find omega. Okay. So omega. Tapi kita kena cari lah V ni dulu. V ni kena cari dulu. Okay. So we can find V from X component here. Okay. So we can find V from X component. Alright. So since V is equal to R omega. Okay. Uh, from X component equation. So we can write T sine 59 equal to mv squared over r okay so from here we can find v is equal to rt sine 59 over m okay uh, square root okay so let's substitute the values okay so r we have uh, 0 0.4 meter so this one should be meter right 0.4 meter. Okay. So 0.4 meter times tension 32.68. Okay. Times sine 59 over the mass is given 2 kg. Okay. So from here you will find that V is equal to 2.29 meter per second. Okay. So now we want to find omega. So it's equal to V over R and it's equal to 2.29 over 0.4. Okay. And it's equal to 5.73 radian per second. Boleh. Okay. So this is the answer for omega. Okay. So finish example number 5. Alright. So we can proceed to example number 6.